Hey friends, Katie Mom here. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you're having a great day. Today I have a whole heck of a lot of stuff from Target to show you. All right, so it's been a while since I've done any type of a haul video here on my channel. I used to do them all of the time, but I just haven't done them recently. Let me know in the comments below if you guys like haul videos and I'll try to make sure to do them a little bit more often. But today I went to Target and I wanted to get a bunch of Valentine stuff for my kids. You guys know I love to do Valentine gifts for them. Typically every year I'll do individual like little something for them. I'll do a family game and then I always do like a family book or two. Um, that's kind of like my general um, pattern of what I do for like holidays like Easter and Valentine's. I'll link below um, previous years like Valentine's baskets and things like this. So I decided that this year since I'm running out of time I'll just kind of combine what I'm getting them for Valentine's in with a Target haul. So there we go. <laughs> um, I was gonna share over like on Instagram but I think that today's YouTube video will be a little bit easier because I have a lot of stuff. All right, let's go ahead and jump right in to the dollar spot stuff first because I have a good handful of that since I'm making baskets for the kids. I grabbed these puzzles. This one here is a thousand puzzle pieces and this one here is 300 and it's a cute little bicycle. These will be really, really fun to do with the kiddos, especially my daughter who loves puzzles. I also went ahead, I'm like sitting in a sea of Target dollar spot stuff. I also grabbed these finger skateboards, which are really fun for the boys. Just something that will probably break within five seconds, but they will like it for a little bit. <laughs> then I also got these notebooks. I think I shared these over on TikTok or Instagram or something. Um, I thought they were really, really neat. There's two different ones, one for my daughter and one for my youngest son, but there's three different layers of paper, which is really cool because um, this top one here is different than the middle and then different than the bottom one. This one says so sweet, it's really cute. That's like the second layer there and then the third layer. So loved these, I thought they were super cute. Um, then I also got a couple of packs of, they're called learn and play wax sticks, but they're basically like wiki sticks if you guys have seen those. My kids are older, they're not They're not young by any means. My youngest one is seven, my oldest is Oh man, he just turned 12, heaven help me. But anyways, they love, they still love these. When we go out to eat, like they're just kind of mindless, like fun things to do. So anyways, I grabbed a couple of those to throw in there. Then I also got, I know I'm gonna regret this. I already know it. I should just not even do this. Um, <laughs> I grabbed these noise putties is what they're called. Yeah, they're basically like putty that makes obnoxious noises, but they're gonna like them at least. I also found the cutest Valentine gifts for the kids class in the Target dollar spot. Um, I got these for my son's class and it's just little kind of putty here and it says, I dig you, so sweet. So I got those for his class and then I really liked these for my daughter. I would have gotten them for my son as well but they didn't have that many left um, in like a fun blue color. But basically it is a packs of these little tiny cards and it says I choose you and it's a gumball and it is a sticker book which is the cutest especially for fourth graders I feel like at least the girls are gonna really like these but it's a cute little sticker book um, and it has a little spot down here like to from so I thought this was adorable found this banner and loved it immediately again I have older kids I don't save a whole ton of the artwork anymore but if you have younger kids, you need to find this at Target. It is so cute. It is a banner and it was only $3 and it says, look what I made. And it has little clothes pins. And this is like what the entire thing, let's see if I can zoom in, looks like there. I loved it. It is so sweet, the colors, and it's really kind of fun twine. So this is, this was a really fun Target find. I always grab these magic kind of ink books whenever they have them in the dollar spot also because these are great for on the go, for road trips, for out to eat, things like that. It's just like the magic marker here that colors whenever you use it inside the page. But this one is a practice writing page, which is a little young for my son, but he'll still like it. And then an addition one, which I thought was perfect for him. Then I also found this really sweet Valentine's Day book. This was, this is one, this is like the main book I'm getting them for Valentine's Day. It was only $3. It's, it's a young kid book, but it's just fun to kind of read it with them. Last year, I remember I got them, um, a pug book. I forget the name of it now. It was the sweetest story. I'll try to find it, but, um, and we all read it together and I don't care that my kids are older. It's still really, really fun. Just kind of like sit around and like read a book and, oh, it's cute. So anyways, I got this Valentine's Day book 
And then I found the last thing in the Target dollar spot, and then we're kind of moving all along here, um, is this BU journal. Um, I don't know, let me see if I can get the camera to focus in on it here. But basically, it has a spot down here at the bottom to um, make with like, make a pattern, like a B pattern. This is the thread here on the back of it. And it's so cute. So you kind of cross stitch or whatever it's called, thread in <laughs> like this little design. And it's a journal. So I, anyways, I thought it was so cool. Um, it's a B pattern, obviously. It says BU. Um, and I think it would be really fun for my daughter to do. I picked up a few clothing pieces while I was there for the kids. It's starting to get warm here in Florida. Actually, I don't know what it's doing here in Florida, to be perfectly honest. One day it's 60, and the next day it's literally pushing 90, and I, we, we, it can't make up its mind. So anyways, I needed to get some shorts because it's starting to have warm days here, um, and I found these. I get these every year, actually, at Target. They're Cat and Jack brand, but they're a really good um, like a sport short for the boys, but I liked this camo that I found. Normally they're like blue and black um, shorts, but this was a really fun um, kind of pattern. And then I love these shirts, which was another reason that I wanted to show them to you guys. These are like really soft, like sport type shirts. Um, they're a little, they're about $8, whereas the Cat and Jack like cotton t-shirts are $6, but it's kind of worth the extra like two bucks on it because they do last a little bit longer and they're just so much better like in the sun and being outside and you can get them wet and they kind of last longer. So I grabbed those. If you guys can let me know in the comments below, please, I don't know if anybody else is in the same boat or not, but I have a really hard time finding clothes for my kids anymore now that they're just like out of the toddler stage and they're kids and teens. I feel like all their clothes come from Target or Old Navy or the occasional like department store like Dillard's or Macy's. I'll go in to buy like a special nice shirt for the boys or whatever. But I feel like I'm like missing where to buy kids clothes. Like what, like what's, what, where do you guys buy typically kiddos clothes? Um, not that there's anything wrong with Cat and Jack. We absolutely love this brand, but I feel like I need a little bit more variety in their wardrobe. So got my daughter this cute little heart shirt and then these shorts, which are so adorable. If you have kids that really don't like like the rubbing of jean up against them, my daughter is really, really picky. Um, Cat and Jack has really, really soft jean um, material shorts, but these were adorable. Cute little sun and the rainbow. Loved them. I found the cutest game to give the kids for Valentine's Day. I love it. I'm excited to play it. I Like I told you guys earlier, I typically try to do like one family game whenever I do like Easter, Valentine's Day, things like that. But this one here is called um, Sketchy Tales. This is what it looks like. And it's kind of like Pictionary or um, telephone. Basically what it says is get ready to play a game of telephone sprinkled with some Disney fun. Come on, get out of here. Everyone's story begins with a Disney character and some interesting action that may seem silly. And what happens after that is all up to you. So it's basically like a telephone picture game. Like you get a card and it goes down the row and then at the very end you have whatever's left, I guess. I don't know, I've never played it, but for like a Disney loving family, this, this is gonna be so fun. I'm really excited to play it. Um, I also decided, this is kind of an odd gift, um, but I decided to get each one of my kids an alarm clock. I know, they're older and they can probably use their iPads or even my son can use his phone, but it's just something about an actual alarm clock and every single morning, I wake every single one of them up, right? Like naturally, like I'm the mom, I wake up the house. Not that I'm not gonna do that anymore, like d don't worry, <laughs> but I feel like it's like a take ownership or independence if you have your own like alarm clock. Anyways, um, so I found this one here for my daughter. It's just a basic white alarm clock. I'll let you guys know what I think of it. I think it was maybe 10, $14, something like that. Then I also grabbed this one for my youngest son. It's kind of like a kid alarm clock. It's more gauged for like younger kids, I think, but he's still gonna love it and he's gonna love the idea behind it. So it's one of those that lights up um, during the day and then it gets dark at nighttime. So it's like a good night mode and a nighttime mode. I think it'll be really, really perfect for him. Um, like I said, even if he is a little bit older, I think he will like the consistency and like the habit of it. Now my oldest son, I am so digging his alarm clock. Like I am obsessed with it and I kind of want one for my side of the bed. <laughs> it is a vintage metal alarm clock. How cool is that? 
Like, I, oh, I was really, really excited to find this. I think that he's gonna absolutely love it. <laughs> this next item was influenced by one of my dear friends, Nicole, who is Hello Happy Mom here on YouTube. I talked to her very frequently <laughs> and she bought this tumbler and said that I had to have it. And so naturally I went to Target and I had to have it. <laughs> I really do actually like it though. It is made by Room Essentials, which is like the Target brand, but I really liked like the nude color of it. And it's really big, it's nice and tall. I think I'll like put some stickers on it. Um, and it has just a regular straw here at the top. So I just really, really like the color of it. They also had a kind of minty green one that was really pretty. Um, but when I grabbed this, I also got some straws because in my other cups, um, I was needing them like really bad. So I grabbed these Ello straws. I actually already have one out in my tumbler right now. Um, but they are like the stainless steel here at the bottom and then this rubber top. Um, and it fits really good um, inside my tumbler. So I really, really liked these. I also got one other pack of straws. Um, these are the extra long silicone reusable straws by Go Silly. Um, I needed these for like the really big cups that I have. I was having a hard time like finding straws that fit inside of them. So these were really cheap. They were only like a couple bucks. So I grabbed them to go um, inside my tumblers. I feel like I can't go to Target without going to the hearth and hand section. It's my favorite spot at Target for sure. I got these two items actually a week or two ago and I love them so much that I wanted to make sure I included them in today's video. But this is a room spray. It's one of their new scents that are out for like spring or summer or whatever the next season. Um, but the scent is called Salt. And let me tell you, it is like, I don't know if it's focusing or not, but it is so, so good. It is the best smelling. I can't, I can't describe the smell. Like it, it smells like salt, but it's like fresh beachy, like seashells, but not with like coconut, if that makes any sense at all. It smells so good and it's so fresh. I grabbed this for in my bedroom and then I've actually already been burning this one. I love the look of this particular um, candle and it's a three wick here at the top. So I have it um, in my uh, kitchen actually. It hangs out on the table and I burn it and it smells, it smells so good you guys, like really, really good. All right, last but not least, I have like three or four more items that I grabbed kind of in the Valentine section to finish off their baskets. I found this little um, lip, lip smackers. Oh my gosh, I remember these when I was younger. Like, oh my gosh. My daughter's favorite soda is Dr. Pepper. She loves it. So when I saw this, I had to grab it for her, but it is Dr. Pepper's lip smackers, but there's root beer and crush and Dr. Pepper, and she's gonna love this. Then I grabbed um, three of these. I just grabbed a Reese's one, um, a Hershey Kiss one, and then the other one over there is Kit Kat. One of each of these, these are the only candy that I got the kids for Valentine's Day. This is it, because I plan to do kind of like a breakfast sweet um, thing for them on Sunday morning. If I get real kind of Pinteresty creative, which we probably won't, but maybe I will. I'll let you know over on Instagram if I do, but I might do like a donut charcuterie board thing or something. So I didn't want to get a whole heck of a lot of candy if we were going to have like a sugary breakfast. So that's the only candy that I got. Um, and then I grabbed a little like Lego Mario blind pack. These are always great for baskets. This little Lego um, charm bracelet thing for my daughter. And then um, gift bags. These were super cheap. I think they were like a dollar or th there were three dollars for three. So yeah, they were like a dollar a piece. So instead of baskets, I think I'm gonna do those little gift bags. So the very last thing that I got that I was one of the most exciting things, I actually showed it over on Instagram already because I was so excited about it, but my son is in the sixth grade. He's gonna be going into seventh grade and he is obsessed with history, it's especially American history. He really, really loves it. So I saw this book and it is, everything you need to know about American history. And I grabbed it. I just grabbed it immediately. I didn't even look at it really because I'm like, that like screams him, like he's gonna love it. But at the very top, it actually says the complete middle school study guide. So I'm like, perfect, like that's awesome. But on the inside of it, the pages are what look so cool. They look like notebook paper and the colors are so bright. The font is like handwriting. So it looks like a middle school study guide. Like, isn't that the coolest? I just, I was way too excited about it. I thought it was so cool. So they have this one. They also have a 
everything you need to know about science, math, English, and world history. So this was a really, really fun find. The last thing that I got, which I'm not sure if I found it in the clearance section, so I don't know if I'll be able to link it, um, but I will try my hardest. But they are these um, sugar paper dry erase markers, but look at them. They are black and white polka dot with gold trim. I'm gonna use them in our laundry room. Um, I have a dry erase um, like calendar for the family and these are gonna look so cool. So I grabbed these. <laughs> All right, there you have it. That concludes my Target haul for today. I know it was a bunch of randomness, but there's some really fun stuff. So I hope that maybe you found some things that you might wanna pick up. I will have a blog post linked below that will have links to everything that I can find from today. Some of the stuff, obviously the dollar spot, dollar spot stuff and like maybe some of the on sale stuff I might have trouble linking, but if I can find it, I will link it and it'll be below. So I'll see you guys on my next video. Have a great day.